Assalamualaikum and good day. Uh, we will continue with topic number seven for unit five. Management of spillage. Okay, there are two specific learning outcomes for this uh, topic. Okay, the first one is apply appropriate method to minimize the risk of transmission of infectious pathogens and to manage blood and body fluid exposures. And number two, to demonstrate the protocol of body fluid exposure or spilled. All right, so blood and body fluid spillage must be decontaminated immediately by the well-trained staff or students in a safe manner. So we need, we need to learn how to handle this situation. So what are the body fluids? So any fluid found in or produced by or excreted from the human body, which includes blood, urine, feces, saliva, tears, breast milk, cerebrospinal fluid, semen, vaginal fluid, amniotic fluid, pleural fluid, peritoneal fluid, bile, digestive juices, vomit, and pus. So all of these are considered as body fluids. So let's do the management part of it. So step number one is to cordon of the spillage. Normally you see this notice uh, when the cleaners are cleaning up the floor, especially mopping the floor when it's, the floor is wet. Okay, so if we have a chance, please do use this uh, notice if you have. Otherwise, please stay put at the area to ensure nobody to disturb the affected area. Get your friend to help or get your colleague to help you with other things, okay? So you have to stay behind to protect the area. Step number two, assess the type of spillage. If it's small spills, consider as 10 centimeter in diameter. If it is large spill, it's considered more than 10 centimeter in diameter. So if it is clustered like this, we consider as a large spills, okay? <clears throat> Please do assess as well the type of spillage, which is blood, urine, or feces or vomit sputum, because the management after this, we will use these three types of uh, body fluids to manage. Okay, And there is algorithm for spillage management in this um, folder or MOOC folder. Okay, as for blood, how to collect the correct uh, equipment. So please get the correct equipment at the dispensary or in your storage. For blood, get the chlorine releasing granules or a solution of 10,000 ppm available chlorine. For urine, uh, you may use disposable paper towels, a non-chlorine releasing gelling agent if available, and a solution of 10, 1,000 ppm available chlorine. For feces, vomit, or sputum, which we can find quite common in dental clinic, um, use disposable paper towel and then use a solution of 1000 ppm available chlorine. Step number four, protect yourself. So hand hygiene first. Before you do the procedure, glove is a must. If there is a large spillage, a disposable apron need to be uh, worn uh, to avoid splashing onto your clothing, face mask, face shield, protective eyewear should be worn as well when there is a possibility of splashing into your eyes or mouth. Okay. Step number five, disinfect and clean. So apply chlorine releasing granules directly onto the blood spillage, wipe up the granules using paper towels or a scoop, Discard the granules and paper towel, scoop into the healthcare waste bag, and then wash the area with a solution of general purpose neutral detergents and warm water with paper towels, and then last but not least, dry the area using paper towels and discard these in a healthcare waste bag. As you can see, per photo, uh, they have released the granules uh, onto the blood spillage. Then you need to uh, scoop 
the granule using the appropriate uh, equipment and then discard it into the waste bag so uh, this is mainly for the blood okay so you can watch the video provided into in this MOOC uh, for other purposes right so as a general outline here to, to disinfect and clean um, disinfect the spillage area wash the area with disposable paper towels and a solution of general purpose detergent and warm water dry area or allow to air dry and then discard paper towels and disposable bp into a healthcare waste bag which is the yellow bag that we have discussed before and then last but not least perform hand hygiene okay so that's pretty much about management of the spillage with that thank you